I have created the rim light magic action and the shading action so that you can do this very quickly and easily. Make sure that you're on the layer that you want to work on. So I'm on elephant here and you're on rim light magic to start with. Press play. Now it explains that with a 50% hardness brush, you paint the rim light in. You're doing this on the elephant on the edge and you do it right near the edge. You don't spread it too far. Let's press stop. We'll zoom up, use a brush, put it on about 50% hardness. You do want it quite obvious when you're doing it so that you can see what you're doing. The action will actually turn down this effect so that it's not as bright. So once you've gone around those bright areas, you're ready to go forward and do the next part. So hit play. And there you go, it's actually complete. That's it, your rim lighting is done. You can see it's softened it off and it's made it not quite as bright, much more natural. So we press stop. And now I'm going to show you how to do the shading. So one thing you'll need to make sure of is that you do click back onto your main layer. Don't select any of these actions on any of the shadow or shading layers. You need to make sure you start with, always, your main layer with your layer mask. So click back onto the elephant, click on shading magic and hit play. Now we're going to paint with a soft brush the areas that should be darker, furthest away from the light. And it will seem too dark, but we're going to turn it down later. So press stop, get your brush with this one. As it said, you do want 0% hardness, a nice soft brush, and you're just painting in. Now again, you need to check that you're on white here because you may have switched back to black when you were doing the last step. And you're painting in those areas that are not facing the light. You might even paint in a little bit more around the feet where there could be some more shadow. So paint in those areas that should be darker. And you can always hit back if you if you want to. You can also go with a lower flow if you want to build it up. It's totally up to you how you use this action. When you've finished, you need to hit play. And done. It's turned it down. You can adjust the opacity later. It has made it so that your shading looks much more natural. If we zoom out, we now have two elephants, rimlet, shadows, shading. Now all we need to do is add our color toning and I've got an action for that one too.